This is a great way to cut peppers. Let's start with the pepper. What's inside? I'm just going to cut this one in half to show you. Inside, you see where the stem enters. This is your seed pod, and then what holds the seed pod in place is what's called the ribs. Now, we like to eat the flesh, which is on the, around the outside. A couple of tricks on how to get that out. Particularly on this one, you can see how the flesh rises up high above the stem. So take your pepper, stem end, you're just going to slice off the top. So you see the ring comes off, there is your core, put your fingers in, boom, out it comes. Now some seeds come loose, you can knock them out. Now if we want to julienne this or cut it into strips, cut it down the middle. If you need to remove some more rib, just like that. Now on a pepper this long, cut it in half, and here you go. Beautiful little strips. If you like the rings, you can do it on, on its side that way and cut it and you get your design of the ring. Now one where the stem doesn't rise up above the flesh, you come in from the top, cut a little ring around it, out it comes. Again, take your fingers, you can go through, clean out any extra seeds and the ribs. Same thing, cut it in half. Now one, one like this, you kind of start with the bottom edge Work your way around until you get to the top. Now, if you want small dice, Julian, then you take these strips, cut them crosswise from the way you just sliced them. There you have a medium fine dice of that pepper. Now you go to another kind of pepper where it's very narrow, and again, the stem doesn't go below the flesh. Slice the very top off, and there you see it right there. Now you can take a smaller knife, loosen the ribs that are holding that core, and again, just reach in, pull the core out. In this case, they're very small. Now from here on these smaller peppers, or even the bigger ones, this is where you can stuff the pepper and bake it or roast it. Or if you wanted to go ahead and slice it up, cut it in half, and again, you're cutting it into little julienne strips. Which then again, if you like it smaller, turn it perpendicular and cut it crosswise again. Ones this small are great for garnishing soups or on top of salads or meats. That's the trick to a hot pepper. Same as this last one. We're going to just take the very top off. Now, because it's a hot pepper, either wear gloves and do the same thing and dig it out. Or you can, again, cut it in half. Lay it open. Now, very carefully, not trying to touch the inside flesh, take the tip of your knife and you go right under the ribs to take the core and the seeds out. Now, the hottest part was what I just took out. So if you also want to, again, want to keep your fingers a little bit cleaner from it, put the, the flesh, open flesh side down and the skin side up. And from there, you can start cutting to minimize the hot on your fingers.